It's an absolutely glorious spring day today. And indeed, this is the third such day we've had in a row. They'll be calling a drought next. But it's lovely, and while it's nice and warm and sunny during the day, unfortunately, it's the opposite on a night time. It's clear skies and still almost producing a frost most nights locally here in Nottinghamshire. But spring has definitely sprung now, and walking here this morning just now, seeing the brimstone already, and Everywhere's alive with Queen Bumblebee setting up new colonies and indeed looking for somewhere to set up new colonies. But rather than it being bumblebees that I'm after today, it's another social insect. Because this is the only site in Nottinghamshire for a rare ant, Stenama debili. And I have one on my person because it's in here. It's a small red ant, slow moving and quite easy to distinguish on that fact alone. But when seen close up, the eye is tiny and I'm going to see if I can find some more because this one turned up in a leaf litter sample yesterday from about 20 yards to my right, which by my calculation is to your left. Now you may well be able to glimpse this Stenama Debeli in here. This might be the last you see of it, but I'll tip it out onto my hand. And that's it. And that is small. If I'd got Myrmica rubra here or Myrmica ruginodis, or ruginodis would be double this size. It's warmed up quite a bit, but one of the most very distinctive features if you to suspect this species is the fact that it's quite slow and lethargic far slower and lethargic than either Myrmica rubra or Myrmica ruginodis which are our two commonest red ants that we have here in Nottinghamshire but when seen well or photographed well and this has proved a difficult species to photograph well the eye is the most distinguishing feature on this species because the eye is almost like a pinprick it's tiny in comparison to our other Myrmica rubras and Myrmica ruginodis and this turned up yesterday in some leaf litter samples that I took from the base of beaches which you'll probably see shortly I was very surprised but very pleased because this is a species I've been wanting to see again because when I first found it here in 2020 I only got a couple of photos and they weren't terrifically fo brilliant photos they showed just the very small eye to confirm the species and that's about it and I wanted to see it again but looking for an ant and this species has small colonies is not the easiest of tasks to undertake might not seem obvious to to most people and probably isn't really until you, you've watched ants but for a foraging worker this is incredibly slow I'm also having great difficulty in being able to see it because it's a very dark red ant much darker than the common Myrmica ruginodis and Myrmica rubra this one appears to have disappeared a minute but say there is just the one record of this species previous to this one the 2021 came late in the year I think it was October I know it was very late found by accident and it was the movement and the small size and the darker coloration that made me take that home to have a closer look it's just a shame we haven't got a mermic of rubra to hand in order to show you the size difference but i'll say for a red ant this foraging is very slow and lethargic almost deliberate you could say it's 
surprising how many insects are flying today. There's lots of beetles coming out of the leaf litter and taking to the air, which is what you'd expect on a lovely day like this. But it's nice that we've been able to bring Stanama Devilly or that solitary worker back to the site of where I found it only yesterday. That was a very much a surprise when I emptied the leaf litter into the tray or the handful of leaf litter and lo and behold there was this little tiny ant but safely back now there's obviously several nests in this area and it must be more widespread in Nottinghamshire but this nest and the site of the original finding in 2020 are a little more than 50 meters apart it'd be nice to track down a nest and I'm gonna have a look under these stones and flakes of bark and logs just to see whether the nest is findable but there's another rare ant found on Sherwood Heath I think it was 2016 when Dillis and I found it in its Myrmica lobby cornice and that's another dark ant very dark almost as dark as Stanama Debeli here we only ever found the one worker and that's quite away from here but I might have a walk over there to see if I can locate that it's another one of those species that after finding we return back year after year to have a look and several times a year never did find it but that's another work uh, another worker of a colony that only usually has small numbers in it so not the easiest of things to come across and like many of our sightings there were often chance discoveries so I'm going to see if I can make a deliberate discovery and track down a nest of Stanama Debeli. Nests are small apparently, little more than a hundred workers. And there's another Stanama in the UK, Stanama Westwood Eye. And at one time it was thought that all of the Stanama in the UK were indeed Stanama Westwood Eye, but it turns out that Debeli was here all along. And in the end it was determined that Debeli was the commoner of the two. So it must be old swear in Nottinghamshire, but who's looking? Nobody. Nobody's doing ants or hymenoptera really at all. No one takes any notice. Great potential for new species. Because I think there's at least two, possibly three species still lurking in Nottinghamshire somewhere, waiting to be found. I'd best go and have a look. <laughs> 